it seems that the IDF has no regard for UN peacekeeping troops. Now, if you know they were attacking Lebanon and God forbid they harmed British soldiers or French soldiers or maybe even American soldiers, you know, we have you know an unforgiving sort of tolerance for the shenanigans of the IDF. Look at the USS Liberty, the Israeli Air Force. Uh, attacked a U.S. naval vessel and there were casualties and we didn't do anything about it. But now it's a completely different situation because the Israelis are up against a country that may or may not put up with their nonsense. We're not talking about Russia. We're not talking about China. We're not talking about any of those pushover countries. We're talking about Ireland. Ireland's not going to sit still and uh, allow their peacekeepers to get harmed. They have over 300 peacekeepers in Lebanon. And I got to tell you something, it's uh, one of those things where, you know, the United States and Britain and probably the EU, they're, they're uh, probably exerting as much diplomatic effort as possible to uh, keep DUBCOM, which is the Dublin Central Command, at bay. But I got to tell you something, Benjamin Netanyahu is, is barking up a hornet's nest because if one red hair on any of those Irish soldiers gets harmed, you know, the Irish uh, are capable of, of, of uh, you know, Here's the thing that we don't want. We don't want this to become, you know, a multi-continental uh, sort of war. That that's also known as a world war. Um, it's it's uh, we're in a very dangerous time right now. A lot of people uh, fear that this may be the beginnings of the apocalypse. And uh, you know, the four horsemen uh, in the Bible it's three, but apparently there's a fourth one. Um, but but the point is is that. Uh, well, actually, it is the four horsemen. I, I think I misspoke. The three, the three would be the the three days of darkness. Uh, God, I don't even want to think about it. You know, Armageddon and all of that. So, look, the reality of the matter is, is that Benjamin Netanyahu needs to be reined in by the Knesset. They need to look, to look, to just to just sit there and tell him, listen. You know, you know, if this was Britain or, or France or any number of insignificant countries, but you're dealing with the Irish here, and um, you know, they uh, they're not going to sit still. You know, and I got to tell you something. My fear, if you really want to know, my fear here at Everything Else Channel on YouTube. I don't even have time to put a, a you know a, a intro on this or, or even slap our logo on this. I've got to get this out now because like you know, time is of the essence. But my fear is that uh, Dubcom will dispatch the dreaded PC-9Ms. If, if that happens, Israel's got nothing to stop them with, nothing. I mean, they've got a few F-35s, but don't make me laugh. That can't stop the powerful PC-9Ms.